Praise the Lord. Good Wednesday morning to you, everyone. Thank you for joining me once again for our morning prayer and devotion and for being so faithful uh, during these short and hopefully sweet devotions uh, that I've been posting for you each day while I've been on vacation. And uh, although we can't do things the same way all the time, and it's much better, I feel like, live when we can interact one with another, I made a commitment to the Lord uh, at the onset of the pandemic uh, to stay connected uh, to him and to uh, and to you and um, I want to be faithful to that commitment and to that calling that I feel like the Lord issued to me back then in early uh, 2020 and we have certainly been blessed as we have continued walking with the Lord and each other in this daily uh, morning prayer gathering you know, it seems as if life is a journey to find out exactly who we are and what we're meant to do. It's as if we are walking through a dense fog at times and we cannot see what's on the other side. We know we have to keep moving forward, but the way is so uncertain and so many voices are telling us where to go, what to do, and who we should be. We make all of us many mistakes along the way and we find ourselves sometimes on the other side of the fog wondering how on earth did I even make it this far? How did I get here? And this is one of the great things I want to share with you about God, and that is that he is never surprised. He knows humankind's propensity toward error, and he has already made a way. And perhaps that's why Isaiah wrote in Isaiah 30, verse 21. I want to read it to you. He said, And, and thine ears shall hear a word behind thee, saying, This is the way walk ye in it when you turn to the right hand and when you turn to the left. You know what that voice is behind you that calls out and says, hey, I want to remind you this is the way. Well, the psalmist David said, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. When the voices around us are ringing loud, we can turn down the volume. We can focus on the one who promises to always stand behind us. And his voice is calling us, even from behind, to follow him. Because he's everywhere at the same time. He's before us, and he's behind us. Amen. He's leading us, and his mercy and his goodness are following after us, running after us, as the song says, proclaiming the goodness of God. And today, we can be assured that whatever that we're going through, if you're in one of those foggy times, that God is there, and listen for his voice today to redirect you and to tell you what you need to do and drown out those confusing voices and listen for the still small voice of the Lord that you know belongs to him. He will help you through that fog. He will give you direction. Amen. He's promised to be right there with you. He's walking behind you today. Amen. Trust in him as we pray. Lord, we thank you for this day. And we thank you, Lord, for your mercy and your goodness that follows us all the days of our life. I pray for that person today who feels like they're without direction and they don't really know where to turn. Help them, Lord, just to hear your voice. You will guide them through it. Your mercy will be there with them for whatever they're facing right now. In the name of Jesus, Lord, you see those that are battling sickness today. You see those whose minds are in torment, those who are oppressed, those who are depressed. Today, God, I pray deliverance for their mind. I pray strength and encouragement for those who are weak in the faith. We believe for healing of all types of diseases and afflictions today. You are our deliverer today, and we're going to praise you in the midst of our circumstance. We're going to praise you in the midst of the foggy situations. We're going to praise you when we don't know what else to do. We're going to lift up your name. We're going to continue to worship and serve you. Amen. Make that your prayer this morning, prayer team. Make that your prayer throughout this day. Amen. That God would direct you, that God would direct others that you're trying to influence, and that we would walk by faith and not by sight. Faith will listen for the voice of goodness and mercy following after you today, and faith will carry you through the situation that you're facing. God bless you in Jesus' name. We have two more prayer sessions uh, for this week. Uh, tomorrow and Friday. I pray that you will join me and share these videos, these words of encouragement with someone that you feel has need of it, and God will surely bless you for that. I'll see you tomorrow morning right here on Facebook Live at 7.30 a.m.